Namaste everyone. I am in my hometown Hubballi. This is my home and I am lucky to be here with my family to celebrate festivals together. This is Ria, my niece, who is an amazing dancer and a very bubbly girl. It is Nagapanchmi today and my mum and Atige have almost completed everything from puja to preparing a big spread of food. This is Naivitya which is offered to God first. As mum serves the food, dad waits patiently. Festivals are quite busy at home as everything is done in a very traditional way keeping the time element in mind and they tend to finish everything by 10 am in the morning. It is a very nice feeling to be at home to celebrate occasions together and enjoy food. <laughs> Mum prepares a pichit kadabu, hot 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 as everyone likes eating it straight away as it is made. So mum and Atike cook food together every day in the kitchen just like this. These are steamed maida rolled dough which tastes really nice on its own or with any of the accompaniments. <laughs> Best part of being in <laughs> India where we all get to sit down together not just when eating food but also all the late night cup shops that we do. So in today's platter, mum has prepared kosambri, bichit kadbu, kobri anna, kuchit kadbu, kai rasa, which is bendikai kai rasa, gatti palya, anna and tuppa. That we sat down and enjoyed it thoroughly. Hubali is a smart city that we can now hire bikes and I spotted these bike stations in many of the places. This is Tolankere which has a beautiful view, fresh water, lots of greenery, a great walking path and a beautiful place to carry your picnic that we came here for a good walk and walked around the lake. We did go around shopping as Hubali has grown a lot from each and every side is what I can see and uh, what I am enjoying the most. <laughs> And when we visit Hubali every year, it is a must for us to visit Siddha Road Matakudi. This is the prayer hall and people from far and near visit this temple with lot of faith and devotion. Bhajanis are carried on for hours with live music and songs. Siddharotmata Angara, Deshukkella Bangara is a very famous saying with a strong belief that we all who visit the temple carry the sacred ash home for a peaceful living. So happy to be home, this feeling to be here can only be sensed how good it is than expressing it in words. A very favorite snack of mine with uh, don't mention kai which is peppers um, these are very small in size and quite hot too they taste really very nice when filled up with a stuffing this is my mom's speciality and i get to eat it only here in a mixi jar mom adds in one garlic pod salt half a coconut grated and a handful of coriander leaves two teaspoons of cumin powder a little of sour yogurt uh, to grind into a paste. Very important to add in sour yogurt for its tanginess, which is the real flavor for this dish. With one and a half cup of darya dal powder, which is putani hitto, my mom adds in um, the paste and also another layer full of sour yogurt, which is huli masru, and combines the whole. Parallelly, at the gaze, let's open the peppers into four sections, keeping the stalk intact, holding it firm. You can always add in more sour yogurt to get this consistency for the filling. 
It's important to generously fill in each and every section by making sure it tastes really nice. As we fill in, uh, Atige deep fries them in batches. The best combination with these peppers uh, is eating them along with plain puffed rice which is churmari. We at home love this snack and enjoy it uh, sitting and eating peacefully. <laughs> Mom makes alu paratha this way by making two small discs which is actually one chapati roll split into two small balls. She keeps the stuffing in the center sealing the edges securely and then rolling them into parathas in which way the stuffing will not come out and spread out evenly. And also one of the major difference that I spotted was when we roll one big disc and keep the stuffing in the center um, and when we seal the edges uh, we manage to get the, um, the sealed edges in the center of the paratha and you feel the doughy bit uh, in the center part uh, which is not quite um, enjoyable to eat but when made paratha is this way. Uh, we get only the stuffing that you get to enjoy in each and every bite. Mum has made dal fry and kothumbri chutney. Wish I could have woken up a bit earlier to capture these wonderful tasty recipes. But I have noted down the kothumbri chutney recipe from Mum, and I shall make sure to share it with you all. It's Varma Lakshmi Habba today and everything is going on in full swing. Mum and Atige have been awake since 5.30 in the morning and have almost finished everything. We at home worship Varma Lakshmi with red flowers. And now with almost everything set. Kobri Karchikai is the only thing they are yet to do. These are fresh Kobri Karchikais which is made using fresh grated coconut. Um, they taste excellent and um, I love eating them. In fact, everybody at home enjoy eating them. I'm here now to finish off carrot kosamri with a teaspoon of chaat masala and salt to add into the grated carrots and chopped coriander. Mum and Atige have made Hesar Bele Kosambri, Carrot Kosambri, Karchi Kai, Chitranna, Puri, Anna, Saru, Vegetable Sagu. I join in finally giving a helping hand in making puris. The best part of being in India with family, you get to enjoy food um, being served nice and fresh and hot as and when it is made straight from the tawa. We are very lucky this year to be here to enjoy all of this for the festivals. And now that I'm here in India, I had to shop. Uh, these are my new lot of clothes that I have bought from the local stores. Now to begin with, this is a very unique designer wear Anarkali in one piece that stole my heart at the very first glance. I bought this from Chaitra Dondi who is actually my husband's cousin. She is a seller of this designer collection. Uh, she has a beautiful collection of dresses, salva suits, kurtis, saris, bags, belts and much more. 
This is her contact number. I shall also leave uh, the contact number in the description box for you. So make sure to check it out. This is Ilkal Sire, a very traditional style of sari that we Hubli people love wearing it. And I found this color combination is quite exclusive. Hence, I picked this up from a local store in Kampli, which sell exclusive Ilkal Sire only. Now, coming to this gorgeous collection of saris and uh, langa blouse, uh, this sari actually has a running blouse on this side, and on this side is the pallu. So, this is how it is meant to look. But I felt I could tweak it completely by making the blouse section as the pallu, for which it is very important you get the fall uh, done on the pallu side. And I'm going to use the pallu side as the inner circle of the sari when draping it. In which way the sari will be transformed into a completely different look. And I bought a navy blue contrast blouse stitched with frills on the sleeves and on the neck. My very favorite silk sari is this that I bought um, all of them that I'm showcasing now from Queens in Baswangudi, Bangalore, DVG Road. This is a great collection of blue and red kalamkari sari with a gorgeous traditional border that we can wear for any occasion, big or small. This is a langa davni. Uh, it's a set, pre-stitched and ready to wear. I bought it at the cost of 3,500 rupees from Queens. I'm quickly going to go and get ready as I'm already late for Udaki. This is a super soft sari that was easy to wear. Now top left my whole look, here is to a pack of individual eyelash extensions with different dimensions from Gaki. Um, these are high quality and gorgeous lashes, 120 pieces, soft natural false curls. These lashes that, can, that we can pick up uh, to suit the right size, glue them and apply it easily. Sanika is doing them for me, giving me a spa treatment and I'm loving it. These are super soft and ultra light lashes made with vegan material. You could wear it all day and enlarge your eyes with no burden beauty. It's a perfect choice for your daily life, making it suitable for beginners or for a special occasion. I'm leaving a link of these glamorous eyelash extensions from Gaki in the description box for you all. Now that I'm ready, Mum and Atike have also set Udaki for me, uh, which they do every year for me. This is a ritual uh, for married couple, especially for married women, to fill her pallu with goodness of greens and blessing her with all the best wishes and blessings to be happy in her married life. <laughs> Here is to my final look, a perfect DIY eyelash extension that I easily could manage to do it at home. Coming home makes me complete and very happy that I always look forward to come back home again for all the love that I gather and to gather more happiness and more love from each and every one. <laughs> After enjoying a good variety of food, mom and Atke fill my sari pallu with rice and other essentials that are a must to be added in for this ritual. It's a very nice feeling to be blessed this way that we carry not just the beautiful memories spent with everyone but also the blessings and wishes. And when I visit Upali every year, it's a must for me to visit my Anna's showroom, Glass and Designs that you can find in Glass and Designs Road beside Pinto Wines. I feel amazed to see new set of collection, new lines that are always added on, giving it a new look every time. Planter pots and plates in different sizes, dimensions and shapes and colors to match to your taste. Um, what caught my attention are these export quality row basket set, which comes in a set of three that can be used in multiple ways to all that you can think of on your kitchen countertop, on your dining table, on your dressing table, to bathroom or on your study desk. They have also added on car cleaning products making it one stop shop to buy all your essentials. Here is to a line of export quality jute handbags of different sizes and shapes. Um, just match with any of your outfits and these jute bags are something that every girl would like. 
So here is to a gift idea if you would like to present uh, your kitty party friends, birthday presents, return gift ideas uh, or to your mum on her birthday or for your sisters for Raksha Bandhan. Export quality quilts in beautiful colours to super soft cushions. You can also find exclusive IKEA bedspreads in king size. Patterns and designs that will uplift your room instantly with such gorgeous bedspreads. Um, if you're looking to uplift your room decor, here is to a very easy way to make changes without investing into interiors, but yet transforming your house, your room in a budget friendly way, in an economical way as well. Here is to an idea that I would love to share. Marriages, ceremonies or housewarming parties wherein you are looking for ideas um, as return gifts to all those attending the party, the ceremony. Do visit Glass and Designs for such bulky purchases in regards to budget friendly, easy on pockets and still getting the luxury to shop with a great a variety of designs and patterns. You will find all that is needed from small to big to suit your needs. Jute trucks and runners to Christmas winter cushions with beading work, premium quality bed sheets, which is in 275 by 275 inches, ultra king size, a beautiful pack of dining table runner placemats and napkin set, two double bags for outings, picnics, everyday sports activities, two doormats, um, printed kitchen aprons for your daily use or birthday return gift ideas. Two microfiber hair drying caps. I'm leaving a link of their address in the description box, so make sure to visit Class and Design beside Pinto Wines. Now, there is a big housewarming ceremony that we are all attending for which uh, we are all getting ready, packing and heading to Koturu, which is my Ajji's Uru near Bellari. I have shared and sharing a lot of pictures and reels on my Instagram and Facebook page uh, of the big event of my mama and Ati's place. We as a family had 20 bags or so. Um, so dad booked in a tempo tracks to fit in all of us together with all our bags as well. Uh, we took a stop at one of the most beautiful temples in uh, Sintalur of Meer Badreshwara Swami. Uh, this temple, the surroundings has a magnificent view that I thought it's a must to share of such lovely places which are not very known to many. Um, it's so nice to be with parents getting all their love in abundance uh, that I'm loving and enjoying. Um, and now recalling all those memories making me feel all good. A celebration filled with joy and happiness for three days in full form and fludge and we ate extremely delicious food throughout the whole ceremony. We set travelling to Kampli now, which is my in-laws place, very close to the most popular archaeological city, Hampi. We are here just for three days, but the love, affection that we get is incomparable. My co-sister Veenaka has prepared palak puri by adding in palak puree to the dough. And that's why these puris look beautiful green in colour. These puris tasted very nice with sagu and barihan in zikarne. The centre of attraction is the swing in our house. We all love to swing on it, especially the kids. After a good breakfast, we all set to climb Anjanadri Betta, which is the birthplace of Hanumanji, including our little putti Isha, who is six months old. In total, there were 575 steps to climb to the top of the hill. We took several breaks in between to reach to the top in 30 minutes time, enjoying the views which were mesmerizing. We could see Hampi at a distance. Anjanadri Betta is a beautiful place uphill that I would suggest you all to visit this place to enjoy with your family. This is my co-sister Vinaka who is very close to me. She is a gem of a person with a big heart. 
She has great tips and tricks for all that you can think of from cooking to cleaning to household tips to looking after babies and also for the elderly. She's a super quick super woman in all that she does and uh, she's showing some of her recipes for today. Today she's showing Bendikai Rasam with a tablespoon of oil, a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, curry leaves, hing, two chopped tomatoes, two handful of bean leaves and then uh, parallelly she's set making cucumber chutney with cucumbers in a mixy jar, three garlic cloves, curry leaves, salt to taste green chilies, coriander leaves to grind into a chutney. Now that the bindis are all softened, she adds in cooked turdal, ratham powder, jaggery, red chilli powder, salt to taste and coriander leaves. Parallelly, she set making brinjal curry with a tablespoon of oil, cumin seeds, curry leaves, four onions cut in large chunks, six to eight brinjal cut in cubes, adding in water and covering it up. In a mixy jar with a handful of chopped coconut chunks, salt, two handful of daryata which is putane, kadle, red chilli powder, curry leaves, garlic cloves to grind into a paste. Then she adds it into the curry. Uh, let it come to a good boil and then finishing it off by adding chopped coriander. The rasam has come to a good boil. Um, in a kadai with oil, mustard seeds, curry leaves for the bakarni that she adds onto the sotika chutney. Now the most genius idea he is making sugar cane juice without using sugar cane. Sounds interesting, right? So here is how Vinaka does this. The handful of mint leaves, cumin powder, salt and jaggery water. Uh, she had set the jaggery to melt uh, in water for a couple of hours back and then she grinds it and sieves it and then finally adds in lime juice. Vinaka is very kind enough who knows that we love sajjai roti so she has made a big portion of sajjai roti ready for us already and which I just warm up on the gas before eating. <laughs> this is my so-called granddaughter Isha. Uh, we are seeing her for the very first time. She's super soft, super cute and very quiet little baby. Uh, we loved holding her in our arms and are missing her a lot now. Days in India go very fast with everyone around you and you get to talk endlessly. Um, this is what I enjoy the most. I love this sugarcane juice and I'm so going to make this again and again after returning home as we do not get sugarcane but this juice has all the elements and goodness coming from the sugarcane juice. Here is to a very cute little celebration with Isha turning 6 months today. Um, here is to a very little party before we leave. We have gathered lots of beautiful memories and are going to cherish the moments spent with each and every one in this summer holiday and are already looking forward for our next visit back to India. Travel can be quite tedious with extreme changes in the weather and the time difference. But the love, warmthness and happiness that we get and gather is something that takes over everything is what I can say. So travel to meet your family at whatever distance it is. Uh, for the bonding to grow stronger and deeper.
Hope you all enjoyed this vlog as much as we enjoyed every bit of it, living the moments and reliving the moments again through this vlog. See you all in the next vlog.